you guys i'm back with another video so i wanted to come on because someone on facebook asked me a question about my nail trainer hand and i thought what better way to explain it to her than doing it in a video so here we go and yes my <laughs> nail trainer hand looks like this which it looks like this on purpose so as you know oh where is my other hand i have my other hand somewhere but oh i don't have the fingers on it though okay so this part of my finger which slides off like this what i did was I just took my duck scissors and I cut off the excess around the finger for the simple fact this part was too thick and it would not it would not keep the nail tip in there so these are the tips and the thumb tips actually fit better in the hand so they just pop in like this and by me taking off that excess um, silicone part right here it actually snaps in better this way so see how tight that is I can work with it and it stays in place and you just snap it back off so I would normally work with my tips like this without this on there because with this on there I was just having a difficult time. But by me exposing the white part, it snaps in better. So I want to show you guys that part. But okay, if you are having a hard time getting these tips, like an actual tip nail tip to stay on your hand this is what i do hopefully it works i got these tips right here off ebay i think and i also have the link in the description box on where i got these tips from just so if you know if you want to use these exact tips you could but i'm pretty sure you can use any tips okay so what i would do is you know what? I don't want to use this big one though. I want to show you guys on the on a little one. So let me get a smaller one. So you can see it a little bit better. Okay. So let's get a smaller one. So it's in there. And what I would do is take the tip off like that and I would go in with my file and what you want to do is just buff the surface now my first trainer hand I didn't have a problem at all um with keeping my tips on here if I just buffed it. But this hand, of course, is a little bit difficult than the, the first one that I had. So, there you have it. A buffed tip. And what you want to do, get your tips. And if you use one that will actually fit, where did I just get this from? I don't even know. What is this? This is an eight. Okay, I think I got it from right there, which is way too small. 
Okay, let's try one of these. If you use the exact size that goes on here, this is what I used to do with my other hand and it worked perfectly. But for some reason, if you have this nail trainer hand, which, let me try to show you guys. It says nail trainer hand with this little orange piece on there. I have the link on where I got this from too. Okay. So because you have to kind of like press this down for some reason, the glue, it tends to not want to stay on there. So instead of using the exact size, what I would do is get like a thumb one, a nail that's on the more flatter side like this and I'm gonna actually use let's see let's try to use this one right here so you need something that's bigger than the actual nail right here so it can lay flat see I don't really have to press it to get it flat so that's what you want and I use Gorilla Super Glue so this is what I use and I got this from Target. And just off trial and error, you don't want to put too much of this on because if you put too much of it on and it's too wet, it will not stick. So, about that much right there. Don't go crazy with the glue. And... I take the tip hopefully you guys can see it well okay so once it's buff and you put the glue on there you press it on like that and you literally have to hold it so oh it slipped hold on You have to hold it in place. Yes, you do. This gets tiresome. Because <laughs> you have to let the glue kind of dry a little bit before you release it. And sometimes I do blow, so... I will blow it just to get the glue to start drying some. But you do have to hold it. So be patient. If you really want your nails to stay on there. You're going to have to be a little patient. And I'm doing this in real time. I'm not going to speed anything up. Because I want to show you guys exactly what I do. So hopefully this helps you guys. And... Um, you're able to get your tips on your trainer hand because I know I've been there. I like I'm buying all type of different glues. I'm like, what in the world is wrong? <laughs> Why can I not get this to stay on here? And even with this, it's trial and error. See? And ta-da! It's on there. So, it's on there. Before you start messing with it or anything, make sure that this is dry completely. Because you will think that it's dry, and then you're like, okay, it's time to work on it, and it'll pop off. So make sure that it's dry completely before you start messing with it. And I already have one that I just did before I start filming. So this is it right here. So, as you can see, it go overlaps the sides. Easy fix, easy peasy, easy peasy fix. So, what you want to do is take your duck scissors. Ooh, and these are so cute, y'all. I love them. So, say for instance, I was doing a coffin shape. I would go through and cut the sides of this off.
like that. So it's going to look like that. What you're going to do is you're going to get your, your file and you just file the size of it down. And there you go. Ta-da! You have a nail. And if you want to file down the sides of it, you can. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't because, I mean, you really don't have to. But that's it. So I also want to tell you guys that make sure when you're putting this your tip on you do it on your finger like this take the actual silicone part off do this and then stick this part on and put your nail on there and you're good to go so make sure you do this before you put this silicone piece on there. All right. So I hope this helped you guys. If it did, let me know. But now it's on there. So just use a tip that is slightly bigger than the actual nail so it can lay flat and you don't really have to press it down to get the curve out of it and it would work fine so thank you guys for watching make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already i would really appreciate it if you have any other questions um that you would like to ask me i would be so glad and honored to ask that answer that for you um so thumbs up the video if this helped you out with your nail trainer hand or if you're thinking about getting a nail trainer hand, hopefully this helps you out if you're having trouble with getting your tips to stay on there. And I got this from Target, this Gorilla Super Glue. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.